Hello, this is Johnny. Uh, I want to go over two things with you guys. Uh, one is about the 3D printout uh, kit that uh, we are uh, either going to transfer this to that because they both are seven inches screen. This is the only one I found that actually would fit the you know to this uh, uh, to this 3D RK uh, 3, 3D printout and this one you can use a wheel joystick and wheel button. This one is uh, it's a six button with two side button on the on the side, and so I want I want to show it to you that this is what it look like. Uh, I haven't put I haven't tied any tie web together, so it look like this, and it look pretty cool. It got two holes in the back that you can play with, and and it's pretty nice. Two button on the side, okay, and. The way the what well, the way it look look like is it, like this. You get you get to choose. It give you two print out. I I print out two set. This one it have the the A button, and the button is bigger. I think it is the thirty uh, thirty millimeter, and that one is like a twenty six. And then you just aim this directly right here with this uh thing right there. Let me tilt this. You want to take this pedal and aim it directly to um, to right here in the front. Well, actually, right in between these two. Kind of just slide, slide right there, slide right in. Okay. Take that and just slide to the back, it's not, not to the front, to the back because the front is incorrect. So you just push it in like so, and then there is your joystick for the okay. Now it's tight, and then you, you put your joystick on before you snap it together. Then then the next thing you, you want to do is you get one of this back like this. The flat surface here, this one's kind of white, I need to clean it. The, the, the flat surface is the one in the front, like so, like this. You just sit on top. And then the back, you just, this is for the speaker. And you just put the, this like directly like on, on top like, like this. That's it. And to stabilize this whole thing is you will have to either tie wrap it or or something or glue it because this thing doesn't really doesn't stay at all, it doesn't snap on anything. It just it just it's loose in other words. Okay? So then you, you want to put your speaker here and everything, the two speaker. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to get one of this. Um, this is for the monitor. So you you lay your monitor right on top of here, set it on it. Then, then you put this on top of the monitor and then you tie wrap those on the side to keep it from falling off. Falling off. And then you just turn this around like so. And then you just put it on top, right, right on top, like this. Just put it right on top. And then you set this down like that. Okay. And so that is the that's how you pretty much do the this uh, this setup. So this I got two of them, one with the, the A button right here. One with eight button plus two more on the side would be ten. It's for, but it's funny is that it doesn't have any select and stop button on the sides on on the front. So I guess your select and stop button would be would be on the on the side, or you could put the first two start and select in the front, and then the the other four for joystick. So the person who created this didn't think about the start and select button when he when he created this three D model. But this is pretty cool. This is free. 
you could download it and I'll, I'll put the link and, and uh, so what I was thinking is I was thinking about putting the this onto this this uh, 3d print out and it's perfect because it it's a seven inch screen so I don't have to do any cutting or anything and I just put it in a regular joystick now but uh, I have another person that say that he want to keep the case maybe change the monitor and so he bought uh, this kind of a uh, USB stick for USB and you only have two plug so I haven't tested one with two plug I believe the two plug would probably work better with uh, this RK machine because if you use the three button like the one uh, that I use with the light LED light that one will not work with this because uh, I already tested it with the AIWO because uh, with the extra light it will it will light up but it won't work on the control so I'm gonna test with this one see if, if this one this one will work now what I did is I create a fake I create a box and I have this one the reason I didn't put it in the front because I want to show you it, this one actually will work perfect right here because uh, it's very flat and small that you could actually take the RK stick out and put this one in here because you could see it's very very thin and it's a I think it's a 20 millimeter stick it's very small and this one is hard to find I found one long time ago and the people who sell it to me uh, he said he discontinued it uh, the price was very high it's like $27 US dollar I finally print some of this uh, this one this one is a uh, 3d printout that I was showing you but this one is is uh, hollow inside the other one was solid and the solid one is very heavy so when I push one direction it staying at the same look same direction so this one now uh, I need to put some napkin in here so that way it will be a perfect size or you can actually put a uh, glue on it so you could glue on it so it won't move okay and so when you push it bounce back because it's not heavy like the other one is because the other one that I have was was too heavy and so it wasn't able to play correctly so this is actually very good for this game system so I will give you the name of this file and the link where you could download it from but you want to look for the, the this is called M U M A C S something, and I'll t I'll give you the exact name on the description, because you don't want to print everything out. You just want this piece. So when you print it, you could just put it on top, and then you have a little bit more. You could glue it a little bit higher or lower, depending on how you want to glue it. You want to glue it a little bit higher if you want, or you want to glue it all the way down like this. But I think a little bit higher is better. You know, not all the way down. Well, now I push it, you don't want to stay up now. Okay? And it's pretty, it's very nice. See, it bounces right back. It's not too heavy. I print it uh, hollow, like a, at the very, as hollow as I could inside so it won't be heavy. Don't print it solid because if you print solid, it's too heavy and you won't, it doesn't work. Okay? So I'll give you that in the description. So it's pretty cool. And those buttons that I'm using is actually this kind of button. It's not micro because it doesn't have anything uh, plugged into it, so it doesn't click. Uh, it's just a regular, you know, button. But I after I, I start using it, I feel like it, it it's used too much force. The spring is kind of, you know, resistant. Like it, it push back, but it's it's kind of tough in a way. Okay, so so what I'm gonna do is I plug everything in on that board. Because I want to know that that by plugging everything in, which one is the one for stack, stock, return, and value control. Okay, so I plug everything in here. Okay, so I have the select star, I have the L2, R2, and R3, R, L3, and then Y, X, L1, R1, A, and B. Okay. And then here I have uh, auto, clear, turbo, and mo. 
and then the joystick uh, normally go into that hole uh, but since I uh, I took it out I'm gonna have to I know the joystick will work but I don't know which button that actually work okay so I'm gonna plug this in and, and test it out so if this work uh, you will have to go uh, I'm not sure where to find that one. I think if you look hard enough for 20 millimeter, you could find it. So I might, I have, I actually bought a second one. So the one of them I might replace it with this. And then the other one, I will move it to the bigger, bigger system. So I just want to bring you, bring this to your attention and test this out for my buddy. Because he, he, he purchased it uh, from uh, Air Express. Al, Al Express, I think A L I Al Express, but it take long time to get here. I think I got this upside down. All right, so this is the uh, up and down right here. Okay, so I think I forgot to plug the power in. I think I just. I thought this thing's supposed to have a power. Oh, when you print out the 3D, it normally like have this supporting thing on it. Then you have to peel this off, see, to 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 make it. It it depend on where you uh where you get it. This one I I print out a little bit more extra one because uh this thing breaks so easy. Uh, the 3D printing, even though it's solid, printed solid. See, this one came 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 out broken, so I put in uh, like extra one just in case when I do tie wrap on the monitor, if it break, I have an extra one. Okay. Okay, one of the buttons just activated the game. So this is select, this is stop, so that's correct. So that's a strong kick, strong punch, so that's correct. And L1, L2 doesn't do anything. So X. Y so that's a punch, that's a kick, that's a punch. Those two doesn't work. These two work. So what's a photo So topo and clear doesn't do nothing. So if you press select and start, it does take you to the main menu. So the select start does work, but uh, the return button does not work. So there's three three buttons right there. The one with the gap, you want to put the blue one here first, blue and white, okay? Then there's a gap again, then you call blue and white. Then there's a gap, blue and white. Okay, gap, blue and white. The middle one, you don't do nothing. Okay, and then you have to label it up, you know, left and right and down, so you know exactly where to plug it in. So now, you know, when you control it, uh, it will work. It will work. All right, so now we know it will work, so I'm gonna, Try to put this one in here, see if it work, and solder this to this and see if it work. If it work, then we could replace the joystick with the clicking joystick. Okay, because this joystick it, it click, it got micro uh, micro switch on it. Hear that? 
and it's not a good idea to hold it like this. It's best to put it onto the system, you know, like screw it onto the system. It won't won't be you will be holding the wire. So yeah, this thing does click. Uh, this thing that uh, if you was to buy this one, it doesn't click. It doesn't have any clicking sound because you need to have a micro uh, switch at the bottom to make it click. Okay, but the size wise it is very very uh, exact. Uh, Want to change it? You could. But I think this button is, is good enough. And the only only thing I, I could see a problem with is the, the, the joystick. So change the joystick to the clicking joystick and it should be good. Alright, that's pretty much the end of my video. Thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Bye bye.